little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Me and my double chin are back and we're ready to play. This is how uh, my day's going, how's yours? Can I just do a video like this the whole time? Because like, honestly, it just gets worse from here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel for a brand new video. So today, you guys, we are going to be doing a reaction slash overview on the brand new patch update to hit The Sims 4 PC that came about like two freaking days ago by the time that you were seeing this. So as you guys can also tell, your girl is doing face cam and I definitely feel some type of way about this situation right here. So we're going to talk for a second and then we'll dive into the video. So if maybe you don't know me on like a personal level, you're not like subscribed to my channel, definitely should do so because after this little moment we are definitely gonna get a whole lot freaking closer but also i mean you know i'm kind of like the internet best friend you never really had trust me on that i share a lot of things i probably should keep to my damn self but anyways so face cam yeah this definitely doesn't happen very often uh for numerous reasons i just don't have the setup for it like my desk you guys you would laugh you would literally be like laughing, like belly laughing at me if you could see how janky our setup is. But um, I really want to try to do more face cam videos. It was kind of like the resolution that I set my, for myself this summer. And I almost, I almost was this close. It was literally this close. You can see it now. It was this close <laughs> to me not actually um, doing face cam. But I was like, nah, I said I was going to do it. And I'm actually trying to like, you know, make an effort to, to stick to the things that I say that I'm going to do. So anyway, um. I apologize if the lighting isn't like the best, you know, we're not like totally professional. And also, um, I didn't go overboard with the highlighter today by any freaking means whatsoever. I know that it kind of looked like a butterball, like you're ready to like cook me for like Thanksgiving. Um, but I think it's just my lights and things. I just, I need to fine tune some stuff. So I'm going to be shining like a damn, like literally a disco bowl. But I mean, it is what it is. Anyways. So, okay. Whew. As you guys can see, I am still clutching to the old loading screen. And the reason for that is, is because I was waiting for this moment where you guys could actually go with me um, through the updating process, right? And so with that, I'm gonna tell you guys my feelings before and then we're gonna talk about it after we've updated the game. So first and foremost, how do I feel about the update? Honestly, I am shook. <laughs> I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it at all. The pump bob looks great, um, but Overall, I think this is just very aesthetically pleasing. I feel like it's beautiful. I feel like it's very engaging and I don't know, it makes me excited to play the game. Um, the new one just looks very flat and super like Neopets-esque and I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think it's because it's tailored towards more of a younger audience and your girl is 30 damn years old. And I'm, you know, I mean, I've been playing since I was 11. So I was once that target audience, but like I'm almost super duper tempted. We're gonna take a picture, okay? We're taking a picture. And at the end of the video, take a picture, sir. Okay. At the end of the video, I'm actually going to show my son this screen and the new one. And I'm going to let him, the, the, the youth target, decide. Okay. All right. So anyways, you guys, it's time to take a sip of my Red Bull. Mm -mm -mm. And we are going to sign out. Oh, my God. I'm actually super nervous. We're going to sign out of this. And we are going to update the game together so we are gonna just say goodbye Mwah. bye loading screen as we move on to the next chapter i can't even believe this is actually going to freaking happen okay i am so oh, i'm so nervous right now all right y'all it's done it's done excellent game do it don't don't ask me twice don't ask me twice because that ain't nice and uh, hopefully something non-embarrassing pops up okay cool so we're in origin right now um i don't know if you can see it okay it's switching over and this is a content patch is available <laughs> refresh to get the update i'm super nervous oh my god um i haven't seen it yet i haven't even watched anyone's videos um i've been literally like so i know someone's gonna be like oh my god girl it's not that serious it's just an update but I don't know like I just I don't like change <laughs> I don't like change and that's probably not a good thing to say but um yeah these types of things make me very very nervous so this looks like it's gonna take a minute so once we have gone ahead and updated the game I will be right back 
Okay, guys, so the game just finished updating, and I was, like, recording as it was finalizing so that you guys could see that I was serious, but, I mean, you literally saw me with the screen two seconds ago, so, you know, I ain't playing any games. Anyways, I've been looking at the patch notes, and I'm pretty excited for all the cool things that we have, so I have this with me just so that we can keep track, and I am about to hit the handy-dandy launch button on my Elgato stream deck here, and, uh, well, we're gonna go and see the final changes. I am so nervous. Let's do it. One, two, and... And three. Okay, so whew, here we go, you guys. Um, I'm using OBS right now to like record. And this feels like such a live stream. Like this doesn't even feel like I am doing a normal video, which is actually really exciting. I feel like I'm just chilling with my homies. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right, loading screen. Please be recording. <gasps> The Sims 4. All right. Taking it in. We're breathing it. Um, I can't hear any music right now because I've got it like off. All right. So as we can see, this is the brand new Plum Bob rotating and the very vibrant blue screen, which actually isn't that bad in person, but no friends. No. Oh my God. What is this? Nope. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, it is a no for me, sis. It is a hell no for me. Okay, and the reason why it's a hell no for me, honestly, ew. Okay, oh my god. I'm gonna, like, somebody's gonna be so mad at me. Okay, let's just talk for a second. All right, I'm processing, and I am literally processing out loud because that's how I process with you guys, right? And I don't, if you, if you like this, you love it, and you think it is just amazing, and it totally toots your horn, that is a o freaking k Everybody is entitled to their own opinions. All opinions and feelings are valid here, okay? Nobody is judging anyone. But for me personally, I am not a fan. And the reason why is because to me, this is a very cheap aesthetic. It may not be cheap financially, but it's just very lackluster. I feel like the Sims 4 world is so beautiful and so elegant and so... Oh my god, this is really sad. I don't like it. I really don't. So I guess from like right here, let's just kind of like look around a little bit. All right, now that Jen's processed. Um, so here we have the same kind of like animated screen that I really, really think is super fun and you know fresh. I like that. Um, over here we have the flat Sims 4 flat. Okay, this is 2019, but we're going back to like, you know, Paint Shop Pro or whatever back in the 90s. I don't know. Uh, I do like the new Plum Bob, actually. I know some people were clowning on that, but I love the new Plum Bob. I think that is like really, really cool. Um, and, and it doesn't fit the rest of this. So I recolor in the game. In fact, I just did a couple recolors. You guys should check out my Tumblr, okay? Um, and I recolor... And when you use like the color overlay and you just like pick a random color from like the color wheel, literally this is what it does to it. It kind of just creates like this very cheap color overlay, I guess. Like, you know, I don't like this at all. And I just feel like this just makes everything look so bland and so tasteless. Um, I love the little animation over here with the confetti. Super duper cute. Uh, I also like the fact that they have uh, what it appears to be maybe uh, like previews or trailers of different um stuff packs and expansion packs and they also have their socials very 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 smart so those are the things that i like the concept i think is brilliant the graphics primarily like this is just a no-go for me so that is how i feel about the I guess brand update or whatever like I mean hi I look like a budgie I keep looking at myself but anyway that's how I feel about it so let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below and we'll talk about it a little bit all right so let's go and start a brand new game and then oh also I am using reshade um I'm using reshade Scorpio soft so the colors may look a little bit different but I mean, if anything, it would probably make it a little bit better. So I do know from my understanding, um, the initial launch screen, they're actually going to make that a dark blue, which is super duper cool. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, this is the brand new Hold Your Horses. See, I don't have to worry about you guys being bored because, you know, we're, we're just kicking it together. But I do believe this is the brand new uh, Create a Sim Story. So I want to do one of these with you guys. I look like a, like a, a pelican. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, 
I want to do one of these or stork. I don't know which whatever one has like the bellow. Um, <laughs> but I want to do one of these with you guys uh, completely like solo dolo uh, unrelated to this video. So I'm probably not going to get into it too much. But yeah, I'm really excited. So let me go and read what it says to you or what it says. Like what's the description? So it says, is your simming stuck in a creative rut? Try crafting a story within creative sim by starting a new household or adding a sim to an existing household. You can take a fun quiz to determine your sims personality and start starting conditions by creating a story your sims will start out with a career various skills and different levels of starting household funds of course this is just an additional option that is now available you'll still be able to also create sims the same way as you always have this to me is such a key addition to the game i feel like for many people um you can get stuck on just kind of that like natural creative rut of creating the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again just because that is how the human mind just works we 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 are gravitated to towards what we know um so this is totally up my alley and i want to do um a little like you know demo demonstration with you guys so let's go ahead and slick my hair back okay almost gave myself a whiplash and uh let's check it out so it says hi would you like to create my story we'll start with a fun personality quiz and afterwards you can customize my appearance okay all right so let's start with an easy question what age am i um let's do ooh, let's do a young adult let's do it um what is what's the most important to me when selecting a place to live showing off my wealth uh space to entertain guests or i'll embrace communal living um let me see i'll embrace communal living i have no idea or you can even actually um like, uh, what is it called? You can randomize a new question if you wanted to. So, like, maybe you just didn't want this to apply to your sim. Um, but I'll embrace communal living. And when raising children, what values would I instill? Hmm. Good manners, creativity, and chaos. Uh, for me, I think I would instill creativity. Uh, home is where my stuff is, where the heart is, where I feel safest, for sure. All right, so the best food is grown yourself. <laughs> nope. Uh, cut, hook, line, and sinker prepared by a chef. Yes, of course. <laughs> Just because it ain't me. I can't cook for shit. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, kind of liked that. That felt, that felt kind of rebellious. When I'm around children, I feel inspired. They're our future board. We have nothing in common. Angry, they'll never shut up. Um, Inspired, they're our future. Bish, you lying. No, I'm not. I'm not lying, but like, you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if I would have chose that, but I wouldn't have chose all the other ones either. So, you know, whatever. Um, What do I do in my garden? Um, Get dirty? No, fruits and vegetables, flowers, weeds. Um... Probably fruits and vegetables. How involved in a child's life would I want to be? I want to raise an all-star. Isn't that what nannies are for? Not on my agenda. Uh, you know what? If I'm a young adult, to be honest, it's not on my agenda right now so we're gonna leave that one um we're gonna leave that one to the past guests are coming over how do i prepare clean and fix everything cook lots of food make a rockin playlist uh ooh, let me see clean and fix everything i'm not gonna lie flowers look best when they're blooming in my garden in a beautiful arrangement dead during winter Ooh, that was dark <laughs> oh my god that was like dead during winter. Blooming in my garden, of course. It's dinner time. I'm getting hungry. What's the plan, Stan? My body is a temple. Why, why is my mind going to just these dirty places? Search a Instagram for recipes. Where's the closest buffet? Uh, search a Instagram for recipes. All right. So here we go. This is my sim he is evidently a male which is kind of cool he has like a very like hipster vibe about him um and it says hey nice to meet you feel free to assign my gender adjust my appearance and select my clothing and don't forget to give me a name actually you know what i love his aesthetic i think i could do something with this now he actually wants to uh, be a super parent he would also um become a neat sim who is a little bit of a foodie and very creative so here is a little bit more about our sims and his story it says career anyone can make a dinner or mix a drink at home a culinary career is for those who want to take it to another level and make money doing it um a bonus skill cooking and he also has like a gardening skill um charisma and starting a funds are standard modest living is always available until you accomplish more in life so i'm actually really curious to kind of like you know 
see what he's all about. We're going to name him, let me see, uh, Tim? No, we're not going to name him Tim. <laughs> okay, Felipe. Maybe, ooh, Felipe. <laughs> I think I think about that for a second. No, 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 Felipe. Johnny, Johnny Bravo, uh, Stefan, uh, Brad, Brad. Ooh, Brad. Brad's a bird. Brad is a bird that my husband found. Alfonso. Oh, Deli, I'm coming for you, boo-boo. Alfonso, yes, we're naming him Alfonso. <laughs> Alfonso is our little, um, our little, uh, our, our little inside joke. And then also, I think Alonzo is another one too. So we're going to name him Alfonso Slade. So according to these notes, you guys, we are getting a new hat, um, new tops, new bottoms, and some brand new accessories as well. But when I went ahead and filtered out those items, you know what? Mm, I feel like, well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. So you might actually recognize this first top here as one from, I do believe this is from City Living, which is weird to me. When I'm thinking of like a new top, I'm thinking of brand spanking new. Nobody has ever had it before. Not something that I paid for or, you know, whatever the situation might be that you paid for um, and then got for free in an update later on. Like what? What is that like honestly releasing paid content as a free update regardless if it's just a freaking shirt or not to me it just seems really wrong I don't know if you agree let me know in the comments down below but I personally don't think that was a smooth move but that is just my two cents now um let's go and talk about the bottom so i do believe these bottoms are also from city living they don't feel like they're base game to me um i looked through everything else couldn't actually find anything that seemed new okay but i did find these shorts that seem like they're from base game so there is another kind of like recycled item i at this point like i feel like if you're just gonna slip it in like don't even mention it don't even mention it because like I don't know, paid content being free is crazy. And then what, what what's even what's even better is the beanie from Get to Get to Work, I think. Get to Work. This is also another paid item released for free. And so according to the notes as well, um, if you have like all of the other like stuff packs and expansions and whatnot, you too will be getting uh some more swatches, which is great. I like that to add upon those items. So you can kind of like, you know, feel like you're also getting something new, even though they're just swatches. That I can totally be on board with and I appreciate, but it's just kind of weird that they're recycling things that you have paid for. Like what? I don't, I don't, I don't get, I don't get it. Like if you can like help me understand, let me know. But I just, I don't understand myself right now, period. Um, we did get a brand new, completely brand new hair and I love it. This hairstyle is so gorgeous. I love the fact that it's a mid length, kind of like wavy um, type of number with a little bun on top. It looks great in all the swatches. I really love it in the blonde and in the red and this is what it looks like in the back so for me like this is amazing I'm glad to have this so I did come across uh, some brand new accessories which are cool but also I found another recycled item oh my goodness okay so this is from get famous this is the get famous jacket just basically reboozled I, I mean the, the swatches are great I love it I think it's awesome um but again paid 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 content and it's not it's not about not wanting to like let other people have things that um we have or that the people who've paid for other things have it's not about like you know sharing it's just from like a standpoint as a consumer why are you recycling things like don't give it to us if you're gonna just recycle it like and then clean it market it as new right like you're marketing it as new you're not even saying like this is like oh you know you're getting this from you know get famous or this from huh. anyway this is why i don't like doing face cam because i'm literally freaking sweating <laughs> and getting hyphy all somewhere like a, i'm like a black bear right now uh but yeah i don't know maybe that's just me but again i do appreciate the hairstyle i just don't like the fact that they're recycling things so Moving on to this bracelet, I do think that this bracelet could be a new addition. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it is, but I really like it. It's super duper pretty. Um, I love the swatches as well. It kind of like really gives it a unique look and a different vibe. And I like how each bangle kind of changes colors. And I feel like I definitely will use this a lot um, for my Sims. But other than that, when it came to the accessories, to be honest, I, I really didn't see 
anything else that was new um i feel like maybe these leggings could be fresh but i'm not sure oh god this is an outfit sis this is an outfit <laughs> this is a keeper but I, other than that yeah i really don't think that there's anything else new um i did come across this necklace that just stood out to me um and i thought it could possibly be a new addition but again i could be severely freaking wrong i mean i usually am can you get in <laughs> i can't get in. Stop yelling. <laughs> what? Say hi. Hi, people. Long no see. It's long time no see. I don't care, but I miss I miss the poor thing. Now they love Crixus than me. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They don't love Crixus more than you. They just they don't, they don't even love me. I'm You're just beautiful. Playing. So what do you mean? Thank you, sweetheart. That was very kind. Oh, well, you know, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're my son, no boo. So you mean that's a compliment to you as well, my kid. So, all right. Oh wait, hold on. There was one other thing I had to share with you guys and create a sim. If you wanted to go and add a sim to your existing household, but you too wanted to create their own story, kind of like through this new story system, all you need to do is just hit add a sim and then click the add sim via a story option, and you are good. To go so it didn't specify like you know whether or not he would live in like a house or like an apartment or anything um but we did get a twenty dollar twenty thousand dollar head start which seems maybe about typical i feel like it might have been a little bit less but we're gonna move him into the daisy hovel and literally all that i'm gonna do now is just kind of like check out his stats i'm gonna check out his job and i'm also gonna just kind of see around a little bit in his biology and then um we're gonna go check out the the other fun amazing wonderful thing so this is alfonso's house he is a caterer which is level three of the culinary skill that's actually really cool so we got a little bit of a boost there these are his beginner skills he's charisma uh cooking and he has his gardening skill and they're all about the three level minus cooking which it looks like he has to kind of work towards i really like that so he doesn't have any like you know established relationships or anything um but it feels like alfonso's life has already gotten uh, a bit of a head start right so that's super duper exciting so the very last thing that i have to share with you guys are the thousand yes one freaking thousand brand new debug objects that come with this update it is actually crazy to me and in fact this update requires a brand new cheat entirely to be able to access these objects so the cheat is called bb dot show live objects and that's it period to turn it off you just add a false at the end of that and voila you should have a thousand brand new debug objects appear in your freaking catalog so i'm gonna be honest with you getting this to work was seriously tricky like i i still don't even know how to get it to work because when i would just type that in it, it didn't it didn't work at all so I don't, know, I don't know what's going on um but eventually i got it to work and so the only thing though um according to these notes is that these are what the artists use to kind of fulfill the world and so they aren't optimized for you know your live lot so just kind of use them um with discretion and then do, 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 all you need to do to be able to access them is to type in debug hit one of the ones with the asterisk and then you should be able to like pop up your catalog we have got i think a couple of these trees which are super pretty um i feel like we definitely have something like this already oh my god okay so we have a bunch of like the crates and stuff i think these are from like brindleton bay which is super duper crazy i mean i think you guys get it that i'm not going to what the hell is this i'm not gonna go through all 1000 objects but i mean because, A, we'd be here for freaking ever. But, like, whoa. Oh, my gosh. You get a bunch of these walls, which is super duper cool. Um, This little guardrail, which obviously keeps the cars on the road. We've even got some of these, like, curved uh, walls here. This little tiny plant, which I absolutely freaking love and adore. Um, Let me see. We've got a BLT sandwich. This little flower box, which is super duper duper pretty. I'm so excited to, like, play with these things. I can't even, like, wait to, like, build with this. This is super cool um also a water tower and a bunch of these little wall like wall kind of like ivy plants that you can combine to create different types of um like looks and stuff and then a bunch of planters which i seriously oh my god we needed a little like hanging plant too where are all of these things like i swear to god i have never seen any any of these before um a little plotted vase i don't know if you can like 
Switch up the colors. Oh, unfortunately, uh, they don't come with like any swatches at all. So what you see is kind of what you get. Now, the thing that I was excited about was being able to see uh, the cars. So let me see if I can actually go and find them. They're kind of like scattered throughout the catalog. Oh, these are so satisfying looking. And it makes me sad because I really just want these to be like functional. Like, oh my God, you know, just seeing them going down the street. Like, I'm so freaking jealous. I'm jealous of whoever's driving those. But uh, yeah, so there are the... Um, there the there are the cars no more having to like manually size up the little toy cars like those days are gone my friend and we also have airplanes what airplanes that's super cool oh my god a power tower which looks a little weird because again obviously these are the things that kind of like are in the distance i could seriously spend all day looking at all of these objects like there are so freaking many we have other Types of like telephone lines too, which are kind of cool. Um, what else? What else? We got a little baby, a baby bottle. Some of these things, obviously, we've we've seen before. And I think if you have like uh, some of the other like expansions and stuff packs, you'll have more options. I literally have not moved my hands the single like a single time since we have um checked checked these out. Oh my gosh! So even you guys, they've included <gasps> the shell houses. I was doing a little series <laughs> um on these and. And I love this. I love these little shell homes. Like, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do really anything with those because they're not functional items, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, you get the point. Like, there are so many different things in here. A bunch of cactuses. I hear there's, like, rocks and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that kind of, you know, stands out a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't really see anything to... Um, too exciting. There's like an angler fish there. We have a bunch of these. Uh, these ones are from, I want to say, get to work, possibly. These little, um, what you call it, trees and stuff. I guess there's rocks too, and just a bunch of other, like, really cool things. Some new hedges, which obviously I'm sure a lot of you guys <laughs> have desperately wanted because the hedges that we currently have, and grass. Okay, wow, grass, love grass. <laughs> Not that type of grass. This grass. Actually, I'm not even kidding. This grass. But, I mean, if you like that grass too, boo, I ain't judging you. But, yeah, you get it. There's a lot of different things in here. We got fences. We got guardrails. We got bushes. We got planes. We got uh, cars. Shell homes. Um, just a whole bunch of random, like, doodads, odds, and ends to be able to, like, further furnish and build our homes and our worlds, which is actually really cool. So, like, this definitely makes this update, like, just super duper special. The only thing, like I said, that really irked me... Um, um, just to be like completely honest with you guys is definitely the fact that they rebranded and the rebrand other than the plum bob I just I don't really like the icons even the way they sit in my game I just kind of I don't know they're not as aesthetically pleasing to me they don't like you know like it's just kind of all the same ish you know it's not as uh, colorful and vibrant as it once was but um, other than those things I would say the fact that with that they also kind of like you know recycled a bunch of paid objects so whew, that's just kind of my overall thoughts on it i mean it is what it is i can't control it i can't change it i can't fix it and you know i mean change is ultimately good and i hope that it i hope it works in their favor um i'm not a graphic designer by any freaking means but i do know how to do graphic design if you feel me and again from my personal standpoint i don't think it was a smooth move i don't like it but i'm sure i'll get used to it you know what i mean um, and so with that, I'm pretty much done checking out the overall like patch. You guys, I think, can kind of guess my my opinion on it. Um, I love the brand new objects. I love the brand new new objects. Totally not a fan of the recycled stuff and not ultimately keyed um, on the rebrand. Love the Plum Bob, though. So, you know, I mean, at this point, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to ask the uh, targeted age group what they think. Okay, so I have a very simple question for you, and you need to be completely honest and say whatever it is that you feel, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you had, because you've played The Sims, right? A couple times, right? Yeah, on PS4. Oh, on PS4, okay. So if you had to choose between these two loading screens, which one would be your choice? Okay, look at number one. Look at it. Okay. Oh All right. You see it. I see it. We see it. Now look at number two. Um, okay. Tell me which one's your favorite. Number one or number two? Well, number two is also a little bit more detailed. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Number two looks more detailed. Are you blind, son? No. What? Okay. Seriously. Number one 
Or number two. Number two is better. Wow. If you count it. Because I like how they do like the sim logo. You like the sim logo? The on it and there's more details. Yeah, I like that too. Okay, I like that too. I like that too. It shows the other games and stuff and what you have on the bottom. So I like the second one. Okay, son. Wow. All right, well, thank you, sir, for your input. Thank you. Do me a solid. See you later. Wow. Shut the door on your way out. Don't let it hit you. So I'm a little shocked at my son's choice, uh, but ultimately he went with option numero dos. So in the comments down below for the question of the day, I'm kind of curious. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the old version or the old brand of the sims 4 or do you actually like the new breed brand i want to know in the comments down below because i'm really curious um i don't mean to be like you know a dirty old dog and just kind of like stuck in my ways but i mean a part of me just really misses the old the old loading screen it just it was very nostalgic and it gave me the feels and this just seems like bleh to be honest that's just how i feel but again like i'm really curious to see what you guys think and do you think it was rebranded to target a younger audience Hmm. Thank you so much for like hanging out with me, literally hanging out with me and just putting up with my crazy shenanigans and dealing with the uh, <laughs> subpar quality um, of my face cam. But all jokes aside, I had a lot of fun. And if you guys like face cam videos, let me know in the comments down below so that I can make it my top priority to kind of work on the quality and uh, get better with time. So anyways, you guys, oh, 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 we're about to do the outro for real now. Um, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you boo next time